Ken, we all worry about our end, but some of us are, are strange enough to worry about the end of the whole universe. What does that mean? How many different ways can the universe end? I'm sure there are many ways in which the universe could end. Um, the simplest way, the way that's going to happen if there's nothing going on that we don't know about, is that everything will get very dark and cold. Uh, eventually all the stars will use up their fuel and burn out. Eventually all the black holes will evaporate, the protons will decay. Nothing with any structure will be left. There won't be any possibility for life anymore because there won't be any energy, any free energy for people to live on. Now there will still be space and there'll still be random radiation, right? There will still be random radiation, but it will be very, very cold radiation. Mm. And so, as long as there's not something new dynamically going on in the universe, it will continue expanding faster and faster forever, and things will quickly become very cold. So yes, there will be a bath of radiation, but the colder the bath of radiation becomes, the less it can be used for anything. Uh, and so there won't be really any chance for anything interesting to happen. So it, it'll, there'll be a universe, but there'll be nothing interesting in it. That's right. Okay, that's one kind of end. So another possibility is that the universe will really come to an end in some way, a sharp end. Uh, for example, that sounds scary, end. <laughs> well, it's very unlikely to happen soon. <laughs> Nevertheless, if you're concerned about things that happen in billions of years, um, one way that the universe might come to an end is that what we think of as the vacuum, empty space, might not be the lowest energy state. It might be possible for it to decay into something else, some different kind of stuff, which would be very unlike what we have. Um, after that decay, the universe would then collapse. And in any case, once the universe in which we live had decayed into something else, the laws of physics would be completely different. So suddenly, um, we would not be here anymore. This usual way that this might happen is through the nucleation of a bubble. So if you imagine that somewhere out in space, somehow a little bubble forms of uh, something which is different and has a lower energy, this bubble might expand. It would expand at essentially the speed of light. When this bubble passed over us, we would cease to exist. So there's and, another. And eventually that would just go through the whole eventually universe. Eventually the universe would be covered by bubbles like this. Nothing would be left except this other whatever it was Stuff. that was left behind. Yeah. Now, I I is there a finite possibility of such a bubble occurring? If there is, then at some point it has to happen. Well, there are two pieces to the question of a finite possibility of a bubble occurring. Uh, one is, does the th right theory of cosmology, the right fundamental theory of physics really, allow the vacuum to decay into something else? Yeah, the answer to that is nobody knows. Sure. If it did allow it, then it would come with some finite probability. Therefore, eventually this would happen. So the universe would not go on forever, um, becoming darker and darker and colder and colder, except that if the universe is expanding exponentially, as it appears to be now, we don't know if that exponential expansion will go on forever. If the universe is expanding exponentially, the growth in the volume due to the expansion could be a bigger forever than the loss of the volume due to the formation of the bubble of something else. So the bubble, the nucleating bubble that is destroying everything will never catch up to the ones That's that are right. created. So there'll be bubbles and bubbles and bubbles and in the space between the bubbles everything will keep expanding. Inside the bubble probably it collapses. But in between the bubbles everything expands and so maybe half the universe is taken up by these growing bubbles but the half which is left expands by ten times. So there's more space now than there was before. So the universe could go on that way, even though any given point, you would expect eventually to be swallowed up by a bubble and come to an end, the total amount of leftover space, which is still just expanding and getting colder, would still grow forever. Yeah, so that would be the comfort. As we instantly disappeared, we would know that uh, infinite numbers of new areas were being formed well, and some of those, who knows what happened. I'm not but so sure one should be comfortable about the universe which is becoming increasingly empty and nothing is going on. <laughs> Of more interest, to me at least, is the possibility that new universes like ours could form as bubbles. So in addition to a bubble of something, we call it terminal, meaning everything in there comes to an end, there could also be new bubbles, bubbles with universes like ours, which would form at random in places. 
And then this wouldn't allow us to continue on forever, but inside that bubble it would grow, it would become a whole new infinite universe of its own, and that universe would be full of people and everything else that can happen in a universe because it would be infinitely big. So people like us would come into existence again. Now, there's uh, an argument that says that with multiple universes, all this uh, exponential growth of universes, and some of them will have life, because uh, even if life is very rare, and in some of those you'll have intelligence, as it grows, and if this is infinite, then you have all these civilizations, so they would say that those civilizations might be able to simulate a, a universe, and you can go from then to say, therefore, if it's happening infinite, maybe there's an infinite number of simulated universes, and maybe it's more likely that we're a simulation. Yes, there then is, what? There is an argument that we could be simulated people inside some giant computer run by some other kind of people. It could be people like us. It could be people utterly unlike us. We don't have any access to what the people running the simulation might be. So of course another way for a universe to end is that they decided to simulate this universe for a certain period of time and then the program was stopped. Ran out and of they, money. And they ran out of money. <laughs> they ran out of computer resources. You know, I do simulations myself and I run them when I think they're interesting and I run them when I have the resources to run them and then I turn them off and I run different simulations. So we could all be simulated. The simulation could be very good so that we wouldn't know that we were simulated. And then the universe could come to an end merely because uh, the simulators decided that was enough simulating of our universe and they'd go on to something else. Would there be any possibility of the entirety of the universe, we're using it in, in loosely, but not just the one we're sit seated in, but the entire multiverse, all the universes coming to an end. Is that even possible? Well, the general idea of the way that multiverses work, all possible things are happening. So collapsing universes that do come to an end are being produced and expanding universes that don't come to an end are being produced. But, uh, of course, the whole thing could be in a simulation. So if the real theory of the universe is the usual multiverse theory, nucleation of different kinds of universes, some grow, some collapse, there will always be growing ones. But if the correct underlying theory of this is something more complicated than that, uh, for example, the universe is being simulated, then of course the entire whole thing could be simulated. The entire multiverse could be simulated and after a while, it's the end. Well, yeah, but in that case, you, you have something else doing the simulation and so that exists. Right, so of course we know nothing about <laughs> what kind of intelligent entity it would be that's built these big computers that do the simulation. <laughs> there could also be all kinds of things. We don't know and we never can know for certain if the laws of physics that we have, our understanding of the universe is the final understanding. There could be more to it. The universe could require some sort of stuff to exist and after a while the stuff could run out. Or there could be laws of physics that we don't know anything about now that come into play only after a long period of time. So yes, all pieces of the universe could come to an end because of things we don't know about. And there really will never be a certain answer to that. You'll never come to the point that you can say, uh, I know for certain now, I know everything there is about the universe. There could always be another layer, another thing that you don't know that comes into play eventually. So the question, uh, will the universe ever come to an end, I don't think could ever be really definitively answered. 